What do you get when you venture off the beaten path and take a chance on a snowy mountain trail? We're about to find out. Yeah, a beautiful day out here. Good morning. Nice to see you. Hey, Nancy, Dwayne, how's everything? Good. 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 This is Dwayne Jones, owner of Cedar Creek Clothing in Elko. This is Nancy Taylor. U.S. Forest Service Recreation and Wilderness Manager. And that's Kasia, her dog. I feel like I'm in Switzerland or something. This is unbelievable. Look at the sunshine on the snow. Gorgeous. Now, now, we're not in Switzerland. This place has a name. Where are we? It does. We're in the Ruby Mountains today. Located in northeastern Nevada, the Ruby Mountains run southwest for about 80 miles. Early explorers found garnets here and mistook them for rubies, hence the name Ruby Mountains. It's all so beautiful. I can't wait to get started. Let's all rock. Right, let's do it. There are roughly two dozen alpine lakes in the Ruby Mountains, and we're about to hike to one called Island Lake. But it's going to take some special gear, snowshoes. The path is dry here, yet higher up the trail, there's still early spring snow on the ground. Nancy, these uh, trails look like they're maintained. We spend our summers patrolling the trails and making sure that they're sustainable and clear for people to walk on. Completely maintained, in great shape, still natural. You guys are doing a beautiful job. Well, thank you. We, we enjoy what we do and we're really glad to have people out here using the trails. We hike up about 800 feet and hit snow. Wow. Unbelievable. The rapids are so beautiful. I'm sure you can hear them. It's almost hard to talk. They're so beautiful and so loud in the best way possible. Melting snow surprises us with a rushing stream and I get yet another taste of how picturesque the Ruby Mountains can be. All right, we're starting to get, uh, get to the snow base here, huh? Yeah, this is where the fun starts. Does that mean snowshoes? Yes, I think this might be a good spot to put our snowshoes on. Here you go. All right. When I think of snowshoes, this is what I picture. Odd contraptions that look like tennis rackets. Fortunately, ours are high-tech modern versions. Snowshoes work by maximizing distribution of pounds per square inch, or PSI. Distributing the PSI of your body weight over a larger surface area keeps your feet from sinking into the snow. Look at this. Let me try this. Oh, yeah. Is this an Olympic sport? It should be. <laughs> yeah, they grab right on on the side hill. They're wonderful, aren't they? Snowshoe Thompson. He's got nothing on me. Snowshoeing and Nevada history go hand in hand. John A. Thompson, a.k.a. Snowshoe Thompson, used traditional Norwegian snowshoes to deliver mail across the Sierra Nevadas in the 1800s. His death-defying winter treks make him a Nevada legend. Oh, these snowshoes are amazing. I know. Easy as walking. Easier than walking. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at the way the sun hits the side of the mountain and then makes it to the tip of that lake. Hey, Nancy, when we left, it was spring. Now we're in winter. With lightweight, durable plastic technology helping our feet float above the snow, our hike is probably a little easier than Snowshoe Thompson's. It's absolutely majestic. Soon we arrive at Island Lake. It's frozen over, but still awe-inspiring. This is a, a beautiful lake. It's not the only one up here, is it? It is not, yeah. This is uh, Island Lake, and we have a a series of uh, lakes that run south from here down the Ruby Mountain Range. First one are Dollar Lakes, and then we have Lamoille Lake, Liberty, Thaw. And when do they thaw out? You know, um, a lot of these lakes don't thaw out until the 4th of July. Known as a tarn, Island Lake was carved out by glaciers during the last ice age. It's a process called glaciation. As glacial ice moves, it gouges out areas for water to pool. 
you come up here with groups a lot and kids and things. Tell me, tell me a little about that. We have an outdoor program year round where we do snowshoe hikes. And then we do, in the, in the early summer, we do a waterfall hike. And later on, we do a wildflower hike, ultimately a stargazing hike. And I can't stop looking at it. Okay. It's kind, of, it. it's kind of fun to watch the shadows and the sunlight uh, play, up, play up on the snow and, and the rock. Don't bother me, I'm busy. Island Lake is the perfect place to stop and daydream. It's one of Nevada's most stunning hidden treasures and proof of what you'll find when you venture into the wilderness. There's getting off the beaten path, which gives you a great experience. And then there's going one step further, which gives you a spectacular experience. 